A Tea Trouble Written by Roderick Hahn Illustrated by Alex Brechta Gran had come to stay. She had presents for the children. She had bought each of them a super squelter. Oh no, groaned Dad. A super squelter. That's brilliant, said Chip. Thank you, Gran. The children went outside to play with the super squatter. Wait for me, called Gran. Dad and Mom watched them. Just look at Gran, said Dad. It's like having a naughty girl to stay. Gran had a surprise from Mom and Dad. She had some photograph albums. What are these? asked Dad. Old photographs, said Gran. I thought you might like them. Old photographs of what? asked Dad. Some of the photographs were of Mom when she was a little girl. Look at Mom, said Bill. She was quite pretty when she was little. And look at Gran, said Chip. She was quite young once upon a time. Biff and Chip went off to play. Gran showed Kipper some more photographs. Here I am when I was a little girl, said Gran. Why is everything gray color? asked Kipper. Was it all like that in those days? No, laughed Gran. Only the photograph. Kipper put the television on. That was an old film about two men moving a piano. That's funny, he thought. They're gray color too. They're just like Gran's old photographs. The man made Kipper's laugh. At last, Kipper turned off the television. He went to find Biff, but she wasn't in her room. Then, Kipper saw that the magic key was glowing. Oh no, he thought. I'm all by myself. The magic took Kipper into a strange gray wall. Everything is gray, thought Kipper. This is just like the film I saw on the television. Two men were trying to move a piano. They didn't see Kipper. There is no color, said Kipper. I don't like all this gray. I want to go back home. This is a silly adventure. He banged the key on the wall. Take me back, he said crossly, or put some color in this adventure. The men were still pushing the piano. They had to get it through the door. Come and help us, they called. Kipper didn't want to, but he went across to help. We have to take the piano outside, said the big man. Then, then we have to lift it down some steps, said the little man. Now, we'll, we'll take the back, said the big man, and you take the front, said the little man. All right, said Kipper. He squeezed past the piano and got ready to help. When I call pull, you pull, said the big man. Kipper tried to pull the piano. Suddenly, it shot forward and slid it down the steps. Kipper grabbed the top and jumped on. The piano ran down the street. It went faster and faster. Kipper hung on the top. Now, look what you have done, shouted the big man to the little man. It's not my fault, said the little man. I told you not to push so hard, said the big man. Suddenly, the piano came to a stop. It crashed into a hatch. Kipper flew over the hatch and landed in a soft garden chair. Hey, shouted the big man. Look what you have done to our piano. Kipper was cross. This is a silly adventure, he shouted. I hate it. He took the magic key out of his pocket and banged it again. I don't like you, he yelled. I want to go home. Suddenly, the magic key began to glow. The magic took Kipper home. Kipper was pleased the adventure was over. But the adventure was not over. Something had gone wrong. Kipper was a gray color.
He looked like an old photograph of himself. Kipper did not notice this. He put down the magic key and went to find Bill and Chip. They were in the garden with Gran. They all gasped when they saw Kipper. Oh, said Bill, something's gone wrong. You look great, like an old photograph. At that moment, Mom and Dad come out of the house. This is terrible, said Chip. Do something to stop them, Gran. They mustn't see Kipper. Leave it to me, said Gran. You take Kipper inside. Gran picked up a super squirter. She ran towards Mom and Dad. Gran, shouted Mom. Don't you dare. We're not in the mood for this. But I am, laughed Gran. She began to squirt Mom with water. Gran chased Mom and Dad around the garden. Belf and Chip grabbed Kipper by the arms and took him inside. Good old Gran, said Belf. Now let's get Kipper upstairs. Ouch! Stop it! What's wrong? cried Kipper. Kipper looked at himself in a mirror. It's the key! I didn't want to go on an adventure. Now the magic has gone wrong. What are we going to do? asked Belf. Kipper began to cry. I don't want to look like an old photograph, he moaned. Gran came upstairs. Mom and Dad are not too pleased with me, but I've made them a cup of tea. She said, you are great, said Chip. But what can we do? asked Bill. We can let Mom and Dad find out about the magic key. Chip had an idea. Kipper's clothes look gray, he said. Get him to change his clothes. Kipper went to his room. He put a red top. Oh no, said Chip. Your top's turning gray. You still look like an old photograph. Just then, they heard Dad coming upstairs. Do something, his Bill. We mustn't let Dad see Kipper. Gran grabbed some sheets from the beds. Present, pretend you're playing spooks, she said. It's dinner time in ten minutes, said Dad. Dad went back downstairs. He looked cross. Oh dear, said Mom. What's the matter? It's Gran. Now, what's she up to? asked Mom. Playing spooks, he said Dad. Whatever she, will she get up to next? It was time for dinner. Gran and the children come downstairs. Have you washed your hands? asked Dad. And where's Kipper? Well, said Bill, we've made a little surprise for you. Kipper came into the room. Mom and Dad looked at him. Oh, Kipper, gasped Mom. Oh, goodness me, said Dad. Is this your idea of a joke? You look so different, said Mom. What do you think, said Bill. Grant has made him like a man in old film. We love it when Grant comes to stay, said Chip. Isn't she clever? Ah, uh, yes, said Dad. Mom frowned at Kipper. Your mouth is a funny color, she said. Show me your tongue. Oh no, whispered Chip. His tongue is gray. Kipper put out his tongue. Oh dear, said Mom. Look at your gray tongue. You must be ill. I'm calling the doctor. After dinner, Mom sent Kipper upstairs. Put on your proper clothes, she said. The doctor can see you in a half an hour. Oh no, said Bill. Now Mom and Dad will find out about the magic key. Do something, Gran. I don't know what to do, said Gran. Kipper went upstairs. Belf and Chip went with him. Kipper picked up the magic key. I'm sorry, said Kipper. I didn't mean to be nasty to the key. The key gave a ti little tiny glow. At that moment, all Kipper's color came back. I'm glad I don't have to go to the doctor, said Kipper. The magic worked just in time. I think it was 
always going to, said Bill. I think it was, you mean it wouldn't have let Mom and Dad find out, said Chip. I don't think it would, said Bill. Do you?